guys, today I'm at the um, Interpretive Center in Stevenson, Washington. I got some neat quilts here. I hope y'all could see it. It's a pretty bright day out. All of these designs hand stitched. <laughs> Motor cruiser. That's cool. Get some quote-unquote modern technology. Well, I mean, it was my 1940, but yeah. That's called Flame Geese. It's made in 1860. Nine patch, crazy quilt, postage stamp, county fair entry, and first prize tags are still attached. Cabin in the cotton. It's supposed to represent Skamania County. Southern Bell. Oh, she entered at the 2001 Columbia River Gorge Quilt Show. That's cool. She was 94. Made in British India. This is wedding ring pattern here. A new backing and scalloped flounce was added by great granddaughter Laura and Bennett, making it very contemporary. It was made in 1925. This was made in 1840. It's a stuffed applique. Look at this. Look at the detail work on those drapes there. And that cherry? I don't know what they are. Feathered Star, 1869. Star Variation, made in 1932 by Estelle Davidson. Feathered Star Variation, hand and machine switched by Ruby Foster Moore. Embroidered Quilt from 1880 by Johanna Kanekeberg Weinberg. None of those are the same. Look at that. We got, we got cranes. We got Lily of the Valley, all kinds of stuff. We got sunflowers up there. Dove in the window, hand sewn by Anna Klein Dieter. Grandmother's flower garden, the top only, it's unfinished by Mary Jane Gallatin. Better get on that, Mary Jane. Texas Star Variation and Boston Commons, and I guess this one was Boston Commons. Crib Quilt by Thelma Sampson, and it was also donated by her. The quilters only have their initials on this one. Thanks by six quilters in Pennsylvania. This is Carol Ann King, Streak of Light, or Sarah Ann King, uh, Pennsylvania, Streak of Lightning. It's also unfinished. I tell her to get on that, but it was in 1860. Yeah. Look at these. Photographs. Isn't that cool? Wind Mountain, 1968. Wind Mountain. The past is but prologue, yes. One of our many waterfalls is Lower Multnomah Falls. Check this action. Washington Centennial, 1989. Guess geese. Got a courthouse. Got a sturgeon. Thirty local women created this album. A nice little lonely school bus. There's a movie theater in there. I'm probably not allowed to get that. Pump organ. Carpet down there. This guy donated a bunch of religious stuff. Like the sands in an hourglass, these are the fates of our lives. 
Even the arch frame here is nice. This is apparently the world's largest collection of rosaries. Now you see, oh geez, I know Tumblr likes to whine and whine about cultural appropriation every time a white person does something, but see, that's the kind of thing you should be concerned about right there, is how the Nazis stole the swastika and turned it into a symbol of hate, which is basically the opposite of everything it was originally intended for. You know, that's appropriation. That's the kind of thing you should all be talking about. Not like white rappers or whatever's got your shit in a twist this week. Look at that bell up there. There's one with a branch. Oh, look how beautiful these are. This says St. Teresa. It looks like maybe a garment of her clothes. Look at these. And another swastika one. Some of these look like they were just tied together in a rush. I used to have a bracelet that looked kind of like that one. Look at the inlay on that. I don't know which saint that is. I want to say Anthony of Padua, but I don't know. Oh, hey. It's the start of David. Always good to keep the classics in mind. A salmon. I don't know why there's a picture of Kennedy here. God, these are so long. See, there we go. Why is the swastika on a few of the roses? Is the phylet or gemadion, gemadion? Being formed by four Greek capital letters, gamma, placed together. It's used predate, it, it dates from the pre-Christian era and has been used as a religious emblem in India and China for more than 10 centuries. There we go. This one is blessed by the Pope. There's some sort of thing in there, and I don't know what it is. It doesn't say. I don't know who that was. Look at the inlay on that. And then that one there. Goodness. That looks like Mother of Pearl, I'm guessing. God, look at how long these are. I mean, goodness, you think rappers have bullying. Look at this. A snake. Look at the wood carving. And hung next to the this one with all the ragged knots. That's a nice little uh, dichotomy there. Some medallion up there. And now I'm getting like a wicked glare from the sunlight. There's a skull. That, now that's a skull. Got some looks like Asian inspired flowers. And Mary. I like Mary, you know? I'm not a religious person by any means, but she is a fascinating figure. I can't make out who that, oh, there's Pope John Paul. Okay, nice. Look at the pearls there. Cowrie shells, look at the the bead there in the middle. Oh, those are so cool. I was telling my mom about the story of St. Clair. She was too sick to get out of bed. And then she saw an image of the town's mass projected on her wall. And so she became the patron saint of television. You gotta like that. Patron saint of a technology that did not yet exist. Well, 
Although that would imply psychic powers, wouldn't it? Look at that. It looks like it's made of like reeds or something. Nice crown there. Gracious me, that's cool. It looks like gold stones, gold and stone. An artifact there. Look at that. Oh, that's cool. Pardon me. Excuse me. Sorry, I'm filming for some people. Look <laughs> at that. Oh, it's fine. It's Our Lady of Zappopon. I don't know where that is. Where but look looking? at that. Those, the rosaries. Oh, old necklaces. Oh. Where are you going next? Those? It says hand carved. Mesquite figure. Oh, I think that's that. Yes. So I don't know what the. Yeah. I think it's a giant rosary. Though. Yes. I, think it's a giant I don't know who that is. <laughs> I wonder if that still smells like incense. Jesus was a pretty neat guy, too. And like I said, I'm not really religious, but yeah. And this has St. Vincenti, uh, Vincenti, Vincenti M., St. Felicis, St. Patrici, St. Christina, St. Claudia, St. Clara, St. Ursula, St. Benedide, and St. Onesis M. I can't read most of it. It's a nice simple design, you know. So many old Bibles there. That one's coming off. Imagine having to go up and light that, stick a candle in there. That's a candle there. See, it's been lit. And then him again. And I can't make out what that says. Meanwhile, here, uh, here, I'll start from the beginning on this one. Eugene Fersen, born in Russia and the grandson of Tsar Alexander II. Immigrated with his mother, he founded the Light Bearers, an international organization to educate humanity about humanitarian concerns. The Light Bearers sought to show others how to get the most out of life. Says he settled near Seattle. He died in 1956. His organization dissolved in 1992 and was then reorganized. You can see his uh, his stuff at scienceofbeing.com. This is an incense burner. It says it's bronze from the Meiji period. Um, paintings, two were signed in acrylic. And uh, by Baron Pavel Rovanovich Medim. Look at that. Oh, that's as big as it'll get, huh? Or not. I can't. What the heck? I can't make that any bigger, but it's really nice. It doesn't give an attribution for the jars or these nifty glass birds down here. And they're kind of gaudy, but yeah. Jewelry, personal items of his mother, Baroness Olga de Medim. Look at that. She wore that in her hair. And it looked like her ears were unpierced. Yeah, those are clip-ons. Case clock, made by Grand Rapids. I wonder if that means it was made in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Seven types of marble in this. Weighs exactly one ton. Cabinet, Swiss, variety of inlaid woods, a life's work of a craftsman used by the Baron to store linens. I wonder if that was, if that was like what the craftsman thought of that. Little head there. Probably st could stick candles or statuary there. Like I said, I'm sorry about the image quality here. It's just really hard to get a good picture Oh, the waterfall went up. There's an indoor waterfall here. It's really neat. Oh, and there's... The <laughs> keyholes are always damaged. Look at the inlays. I keep saying inlays. Diamond under there is carved. Oh, yeah, you can't see that at all. 
putting linens in that. My God. That's so cool. Another head. <laughs> and then this chair reserved specifically for Queen Marie, Baron Furson's niece, when she visited him in his Seattle home. You don't think of queens as visiting Seattle, you know? Those are really cool cranes. A lot of these don't have attributions on them. Yeah, the plates here. Oh, vase, cloisonne over five feet high, ovoid, Japanese, the circa 1900. The plates here. The aunt and uncle of Baron Ferdson, Tsar Nicholas II at Alexandria, Fed Forona. I don't think I ever knew her maiden name. And they're in French. That's funny. If the stars should appear one night in a thousand years, how would men believe and adore? at those. Look at that one over there. Oh, now it now it pans in. The painting is called Waterfall in the Forest and it's not signed. I'm just getting a reflection of the balcony over there. Glassware and Light Shades by Lewis Comfort Tiffany. The pedestal bowl, I'm assuming this one, with the butterfly, was a personal gift. Either that or that's the pedestal bowl, I don't know. Personal gift to Baron Fersen. Look at that one, it just looks like a Christmas bowl. And the chair was used by Baron Fersen's mother in St. Petersburg in 1861, hand-carved walnut. I would be afraid to sit back on that. Look at, look at that head. <laughs> uh, then over here they talk about Japanese immigrants, and I don't know what that says. Because over here... Over here, it gives a much different picture. Look at that. <laughs> Woodbox print. It says the translation on that poem is unknown. I'd get the whole picture, but someone put the statue right in front of it, so yeah. Early Hokashi dolls, seriously, fog. <laughs> oh, it's a wedding kimono, that's why. Uh, some monks. Another one down there. A koto. That's called Mountains Make Everyone Feel Refreshed. Flint box. Look at those boots. This poem is called Youth, but it doesn't give a translation. It says this was uh, used to transport goods to and from market. The rice steamer. 
Seeking with Delight Paradise. This is a loom with hand tools. This was a fire alarm. You struck it. <laughs> this is a copy here. The original is by Utamaro. Hanging lamp. Uh, well, this hanging lamp with paper for shade it took oil. This one took kerosene. Hardwood elevated soles for walking in mud. This was made to be worn as protection when carrying heavy loads on the back. So yeah, that's a that's a bunch of stuff there. A pheasant. Even the lamps are neat. So yeah, that's uh This is part of the museum. This is one in a raffle. <laughs> and played in a silent movie theater. Isn't that cool? All right. Well, that's uh, that's the museum. I mean, there's a bunch more, but it's not as aesthetic. And there, however, that that is the aesthetics right there. Look at out there. My goodness. That is the Columbia River. We are in the Columbia River Gorge, and it is cool. Bye-bye.